Yo, what is up, guys? It is Crixia coming at you guys back again with another tutorial. Okay, I was just editing and I found this cool little nifty trick here, and I just want to share it with you guys because it really helped me out. Now, I'm the type of person who doesn't want to spend a lot of time on my fucking sinking, okay? It really bugs me and it's really annoying shit process. So I found this cool way to get it done in like two minutes. Alright guys, so here's what I'm going to show you what I came up with. <sighs> Alright, I know the quality is ass guys, but the sinking is pretty top notch compared, or compared to all my other edits. Alright, especially in anime song, those are hard to sync. Anime, Japanese, it doesn't matter guys. Okay, so what, what, are we, what did we do here? I'm going to drag in a clip and start doing my little process here. So I'm just going to boop it up to that point using the... Uh, uh, fucking square bracket key there, and then I'm gonna do Control Alt T for my time remapping. Uh, yeah, I use time remapping, guys. It's pretty cool. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the point, the marker here, right there, where I want my gunshot to be. I'm gonna drag this fucking view up so I can see it more. And then I'm gonna just drag this until I get the shot. Like I want my shot to be right there, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna Control Shift D, cut that shit, delete that shit, and then I'm gonna bring this keyframe back so we actually get to see what's happening on that keyframe. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all. The keyframes or okay guys this is very important <clears throat> it's gonna help you guys for later so um here's what you gotta do go go to go to the description and you're gonna go to this link okay and then you're just gonna highlight all this shit control a right there oh shit control a right there copy that shit and then you're just gonna go here make a new notepad document call it whatever it doesn't really matter right now and then paste all of that shit right there next you're gonna go to save as and then just save it wherever for now it doesn't matter just name it like all select or select all dot jsx very important save as type all files and then dot jsx boom and then now what's gonna happen <coughs> is you're gonna get a full file like this on your desktop okay just move it to this directory in your adobe after effects you know program files whatever move it to the scripts folder and then put it in there and then restart your after effects guys now it should show up in your scripts once you restarted your after effects guys see it's right there next what you want to do is you want to go to edit keyboard shortcuts and then click this do shift x or you can do whatever you want really i chose shift x and as you can see right there i have my keybind shift x X and it's binded to this uh, fucking script okay and now what that script does guys okay if you take your work area which is B or that's N and that's B see this thing here that's our work area um, and then you click on a clip and then you do shift X it'll highlight only the keyframes on that clip highlighted inside of your work area. You guys may not know yet, but this shit is super useful. Now all you gotta do to get back to what we were doing before is Control X, okay? You're just cutting those keyframes and then do Control Alt T, take away the time remapping, repaste it, okay? That's how we get rid of the final time remap keyframe, okay? If we didn't do that, let's just, as you can see, we're gonna have to scroll all the way. It's not even in my fucking edit to get the the end keyframe of the time remap. We gotta get rid of that because it'll make our fucking shit go slower in the future. Okay, so now that we've done all that, it doesn't really take that long, guys. I just need to explain it for the dummies in the in the, in the watching the video that just don't get it. Okay, so. Well, now we're gonna go to our keyframes or our syncing points here. I already got them laid out. <laughs> That's another tutorial altogether, guys, but very important to lay out your shit properly, okay? You could just do like I like to put my 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 uh my fucking main comp in 48 FPS. This way, like I can easily scale it down to like 24 and it'll be all good. Because 24 times 2 equals 48, guys. <laughs> Alright. Um so now that the reason why I have a higher frame rate than what I'm gonna render as is because I want more frames for the song as I scrub through by holding control because it helps you find the like the boom boom points anyways now in between these keyframes this is the shot this is the start okay I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna click this will make sure that your shit flows properly okay guys next what you're gonna do highlight this shit easy ease f9 or just click that button right there guys next what you're going to do okay you could just do a little wang jangle like that you know by i, I held alt though maybe you don't even need to do it oh maybe yeah you do there you go 
I held alt to do that, but I'll show you guys what's coming next. Okay, so right click, click show reference graph, okay? Now, this may look like a bunch of horse shit right here, guys, but don't worry, it's gonna get useful soon okay so now that your timeline is highlighted press the tilde key the dildo key you know the one next to the fucking one boom gets a lot bigger doesn't it now we can do the shift x thing again it'll highlight our things and then just click fit selection to view and now it's super easy to edit guys okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna pay attention to the reference graph remember that was the reference graph these little humps here okay and then we're just gonna move this a little bit and we want our reference graph not too high, but or like, you'll see guys. So we're gonna edit this in a way. See, if I went like this, and you see this fucking corner here, you don't want no corners ever, okay guys? Because if you get a corner, it's probably gonna fucking look a bit weird. So that's why I like to keep it like this, or like this, or I, I just make sure this shit matches here. The only corners should be the speedy sync points, okay? Everywhere else, no corners, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this shit down as well. You know, do the same with this shit. And a little higher, you know. And if you can always edit it later, but this way you don't have to keep going back and forth between previews to see what you're doing. This way you could just use fucking the graph and you can see if there's any fuck ups already in your stink. In your stink. <laughs> okay, so now this should be the last one. This one's gonna get a little extra, a little extra oomph, okay? So bring that shit up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to put a keyframe here and then they like to make it flat. You can do that, guys, but just make sure that your graph is not fucked up, okay? So what we can do to unfuck our graph real quick, we just play around with these little, with these lines here, and as you can see, it gets, that's pointy, that's gonna look like ass. Then we bring it back, and it looks nice and smooth, and that's the idea, guys. That's how to really drive this shit, make it look nice and, nice and flowy, nice and, nice and flowy, okay? This should look pretty good now, guys, so now, now, Okay, guys, I forgot to mention this in the video, but I'm gonna mention it now. Okay, so we got our markers, right? And you know how in music, some parts go like boom, 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 boom. See, the boom, boom, you when, the, when you have a hard kick or a hard, like, sort of impactful point in your song, you obviously want there to be more impact in your syncing, okay? And just obvi obviously, the, the way to tell this, guys, I'm not sure why I'm even mentioning this. It's kind of obvious, but as you can see, if you get your graph here, okay, you want to make the hills more steeper, okay? You could move these individually, but then look at that shit. You got a fucked up corner that you got to deal with, and you can't have none of that because it looks like shit, okay? So bring that shit back down. What you want to do is you want to hold alt and then quickly like that, like that, guys, and just make it a little bigger on impactful parts in your song, okay? That's probably too much right there. It's a big mountain. But it's probably a shitty mountain, okay? It's not fun to ride, okay? That's important to remember. So as you can see, we got some impactful points here. This is, a, she goes in the song like, <laughs> you'll, you'll see. She, she goes, ha! See guys, that's what I mean. It's really impactful. That's why my mountain is pretty big. And then on the shot, which is even more impactful, I put it to like the max. See, this is the shot. And of course I want the shots to be more impactful. So then if you see my mountains here, like little, little, eh, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. And then phew, that's it guys. I just wanted to tell you guys that I know it's kind of obvious, but I'm trying to make, you know, you should be able to watch this tutorial like fucking on drugs, like, like I am. Now that that's done, we could just check how it looks. I think it'll look pretty good. Let's just check. See, I didn't even have to preview that shit once, guys, and it's flawless, that's fucking good for what we have, it's like, it's that simple, guys, like, that's the way I do it, that's the way I found that works, and so remember, guys, it's important to do this in, like, separate parts with your clip, I know a lot of people do this with Sony Vegas, or if you use Twixter, you already do this, but this is my way of th thinking, guys, I thought it'd be really helpful to show this for you guys, um... And that's been everything. I've been Kreeksia. I'll catch you guys in the results video of Editor Trials. <laughs> See you later.